Hi everyone, my name is Katie Eater. I am a senior in high school and I am, oops, okay, there we go. Um, and I'm the co-founder and executive director of 50 Miles More. So about two months ago, after March for Our Lives events ended around the country, I, along with 39 other young people from across Wisconsin, came together to our capital, Madison. And then from there, we marched 50 miles to Janesville, Wisconsin, the hometown of Speaker of the House Paul Ryan. We were directly calling out Paul Ryan for his role in blocking and burying any chance of gun reform time and time again. Our goal was to make sure that after March for Our Lives had ended, that politicians and the country as a whole knew that young people weren't going anywhere. We were going to continue to walk out, we were going to continue to march, we were going to continue to raise our voices until change was made. And the march got bigger than we could have ever imagined. And on the second day of the march, there was a girl that was marching with us that got a DM on Instagram from a sophomore in high school in Pennsylvania that said that she wanted to figure out how she could march 50 miles in Pennsylvania. And at that point, we all put our heads together and kind of decided, okay, this has to get bigger. Once again, we have to make sure that after 50 miles more ends, that this country doesn't stop talking about and fighting for an end to gun violence. In order to do that, when we arrived in Janesville on the final day of the march, we launched a campaign called Hashtag 50 More in Hashtag 50 States. So we are challenging the other 49 states to hold 50 mile marches to the hometown or office of one of their NRA backed elected officials before the November midterms. Right now we're working with young people from all across the country, from Massachusetts to Oklahoma to California, to organize marches that are happening all throughout the summer and into the fall. But for us, it's not just about calling out politicians, and it's not just about making sure that the national spotlight stays on gun violence. What we saw with uh, the Wisconsin march was that everyone, every single person that marched the 50 miles was inspired and empowered beyond words. We were bonding with kids from all different geographical locations, races, religions, socioeconomic backgrounds, political beliefs, ages, and what we saw was it wasn't just about inspiring an individual person. Rather, it was about inspiring individual people to become leaders and then giving them the skills and the tools to take back to their schools and their communities and further inspire even more people. We recognize that politicians aren't making a change. We recognize that young people have to step up and we have to get to the polls. That's our, that's our goal right now, is to make sure that come November that as many young people get registered and, get to, and, and go vote. We, our goal is to change the culture around voting to make sure that come November that we truly see a change in this country. But what we've learned from our marches is that it's not just about rhetoric. We can't just go and tell young people that they need to go vote. We have to engage them face to face. We have to inspire them and we have to make them care and we have to make it fun and exciting and accessible. So come election day, we don't sit in our school libraries and hear, oh my God, I have to go vote. But instead we hear, oh my God, I get to go vote. This is so exciting. Who wants to go with me? To do this, we are organizing a campaign surrounding three different days. National Voter Registration Day on September 26th, vote, National Vote by Mail Day on October 20th, and of course, Election Day. We are using gun violence as the vehicle to mobilize the next generation. People are turning to us now as Generation Z and saying, how can we get to the polls? How can we get them to vote? And what 50 Miles More is doing is we are ensuring that we not only have a seat at the table, but that we're able to use our expertise as young people to make the largest impact possible. After all, kids may only be 25% of the nation's population, but we are 100% of the future. And we're dedicated to making that future a safe one for every single person in this country. Thanks. Woo!